good air. No flowers, no nothing. Huh. <laughs> well, see, I'm just getting home a lot of mornings about seven. You're just a nosy neighbor, Granny. <laughs> You're just a nosy neighbor. <laughs> That's not nosy. <laughs> hey, Granny, you want to hear a cute little joke? My old sister came in off the road the other night. She said, call me. If I'm from Tennessee, call me. She said, since I got a joke, I want to tell you. She said, you're the only one I know that I can tell this joke to. I said, well, okay. <laughs> this couple's going down this old road, and in the middle of the road, it's a little skunk, a baby skunk. So the little lady jumps out, runs, picks it up, puts it in the truck, and the car, and the car, and the little skunk was just a shake, and it's going. She said to her, how in the world am I going to get in war? <laughs> he said, oh, just stick in between your legs. She said, what about the smell? He said, oh, just cover his baby nose. <laughs> Such foul language to harm an almost 80 year old woman. Oh, nice. 85. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. I said, Lou, where did you hear that? Oh, she said, we got another trucker. I was on the CB and she said, we just talked. Back and forth, and she told me that joke. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of baby nose. <laughs> So then she said, no, I'm going to bed. She said, I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. And she said, I'm getting ready to go out Tuesday. Pick up skunks? <laughs> I said, well, just make sure you cover the baby nose. <laughs> the last I heard of her, she was still laughing. <laughs> She's crazy. You having a good time, She's Grandma? Where you get it from. You having a good time? She your twin sister? You got all your family and friends here, don't you? Oh, you'll have again. Don't worry. We ain't going nowhere soon. I know you are. That's right. <laughs> She's always coming in off of that. As soon as you get your butt back home, you'll be fine. Yeah, pretty soon, you said? You going home pretty soon? Yeah. Good. Okay. Good deal. Well, they're about tired. They're going to throw you out of this hospital. What's that? All day long, but nobody knows. So, they really out So, they don't know anything in this hospital? Huh? <laughs> they don't know anything in this hospital. So, let's pack up your stuff and let's go now. I haven't had Probably right. <laughs> Just, just, just put a couple pillows under the covers there. They'll never know you're gone, right? That's right. Let's just sneak out, out. Cover it up. Cover it up. Make it look like your body. They'll never even know you were gone. Yeah, you, yeah, I'd be hell to come here and go to the BSA hospital jail, huh? Be in jail for for stealing you out of here. That's kidnapping. Can't kidnap the Willie. We'll tell him Jim Sullivan made us do it. Yeah. He was the he was the head of the he was head of the gang, huh? Jim ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Want to get him in trouble for? He was a getaway car driver. Oh, y'all are too funny.